Hey guys, welcome back. So all good things must come to an end and so is this Linux shell scripting series. This is the last video of the series and in this video I'm going to show you a couple of debugging techniques. It's going to be a quick one which I use. So I mostly use these techniques. So I'm just going to show you those, right? Probably people are using some advanced technique, but with shell script, you don't actually have to get very advanced in debugging. It's actually quite straightforward if there's an error or if there's some issue with the script, right? So let's get started. We will just start by writing a script. Let's call it debug.sh. Dot sh right uh, in bash and say suppose I run a few commands say echo dollar home pwd ls hyphen l cat etc MOTD, not MOTD, let's do cat fast WT, right? And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if I want to know where actually am I in this particular script, right? Where is my execution happening? Uh, the most common thing is use echo statements, right? In other programming languages, we tend to use a lot of prints, right? So we print uh, variable name we print stuff like that right so also yeah i'll also set some name equals Tarek, right so you can use a lot of echo statement in a script if you want to uh, de debug a particular script so suppose i can say echo i'm here right so i would know that my execution has actually Pass two stages, which is echo dollar home, and it has set the name equal to Tarek, right? Then you can have set another echo, echo I'm here, right? And <clears throat> after this cat, let's say we run some non existent command hyphen h, right? So this is not a command and let's say echo i am here all right so i'm using a lot of echo statements to actually understand the flow where exactly in my shell script i'm there right so let's save this chmod plus x debug.sh and let's run this so you can see Let's see from where the execution has started. So first I echoed out dollar home, so which is dollar root, and then it printed out that I'm here, right? Then PWD, I think it is, then it has uh, printed out that. Then LS hyphen L has run, and then it has printed out that I'm here. Then the cat command ran, and then you can see I'm here just before executing the non-existent command, right? And then it threw the error. So this is a very newbie way to do uh, debugging, right? Uh, I mean, you initially, when you start debugging a program, you'd start with the newbie way, right? You do a lot of print statements and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, in shell script, there is a better way, which I almost use in, in all my scripts, right? So I'll show you that. So let's get rid of all these echo statements. Right, echo I'm here and let's bring this non-existent command a little on top. So first let's echo dollar name and then non-existent command hyphen h. And the two option which I always use in my shell script is with set, right? So what I do is set hyphen E and set hyphen X. So these two I always do when I start a script. So what set hyphen E does is that it stops the execution as soon as it encounters some error. So we know that this is going to encounter an error over here, right? So it is not going to execute any statement which is after 
uh, this particular line, right? This particular line. And what set hyphen X is going to do is actually a verbose form. So it's going to show us each and every statement which is being executed, right? So let's save this and let's run debug.sh again. And you can see, so this is coming from uh, what we call set, dot, set hyphen X. So it showed what it is doing. So it's echoing out slash root. Then we are setting the name equal to Tarek. Then we are running PWD. Then we are echoing Tarek, right? And then we came across a non-existent command. This is the error which it throwed and then nothing get executed after the non-existent command which is ls hyphen l and cat pass w cat etc pass wd so these two commands were not executed and that's pretty much it right so these are the two techniques which i use to debug uh, like doing a lot of echo and uh, using set statement and i think that's pretty much it that's all i wanted to cover for the debugging part that's all i actually had uh, because I mean, shell scripting debugging is something which is very, I would say, I mean, it's very quick, right? You you can debug a shell script. It's unlike a program or anything, a Python program or Java program where you actually do a lot of debugging, actual debugging. But in shell scripting, it's quite straightforward. You can actually do debugging quite quickly uh, with set and with echo. I think that should be sufficient to do any kind of debugging, to debug any kind of script, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, this is the end of the series. Uh, the next we are starting with Kubernetes CKA and CKAD preparations. This is that was that will be like fun because I actually wanted to do that from a very long time uh, because I have these certifications. I know what kind of questions feature in these examinations. So I just wanted to do a hands on uh, tutorial on that. And that would be completely hands on, right? What kind of questions you can get. So I'm looking forward that you guys would come and watch that video as well watch that series as well right so i hope you guys like this video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching